Now at six, new developments in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. The state Republican Party is demanding answers from education officials in the wake of our investigation into a state house staffer's perk from his old job at Rhode Island College. And Target 12 uncovered earlier this month that Frank Montanaro Jr. got free tuition for family members while collecting a six-figure salary. The GOP hand-delivered a letter asking for an investigation just this afternoon. Let's get to Target 12 investigator Tim White with the latest. The head of the state Republican Party wants higher education officials to find out if Frank Montanaro Jr. properly received free college tuition, and if not, they want Montanaro to pay the state back. In a letter to the Board of Post-Secondary Education, which oversees state colleges, This is not okay. State GOP Chairman Brandon Bell is asking for an investigation into more than $49,000 in free tuition given to family members of Frank Montanaro Jr. But at this point in time, the taxpayers are entitled to their $50,000 back. The letter asks to find out if the tuition was signed off on by college officials, and if so, explain to the public how and why Mr. Montanaro received special treatment. What was signed, who gave permission, were any phone calls made, uh, any special uh, deals made in order to get uh, those tuition waivers. As Target 12 first reported, Montanaro was picked by Speaker Nicholas Mattiello to be the top administrator at the State House in 2014, making more than $155,000 a year. Montanaro asked to be placed on leave from his old job at Rhode Island College for three years, and during that time, he was still able to secure 12 semesters of free college tuition. Montanaro has previously told Target 12 he had permission to do so. Again, it's a benefit afforded to me as a Rhode Island College employee, as well as all other employees in the higher ed system. In a statement, the Commissioner of Post-Secondary Education tells us they are engaged with Rhode Island College to understand this particular situation. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.